Morning folks, it's another beautiful day and the plan today is to go out and anchor for bream and rust. I'm going to be trying a paste bait today made up of sardine and flour. Uh, for the bream, we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to hold out too much hope, but it's something I've seen other people using on YouTube and I thought I'd give it a go. Other than that, the other rod will have worm on it and... Uh, hopefully that should bring me something at least Rass if nothing else ok folks have a good day and I will talk to you in a bit right then folks here we are anchored in Beacon Key again and um, the ground here is pretty mixed it's a mixture of sand and kelp and eelgrass so I'm just hoping we're fishing over a patch of clear ground uh, the sounder seems to think we are so that's all good. Right, let's get a bait down. Right folks, this is the bait I'm using the paste that I've made up earlier and we'll see how it goes. All I'm going to do is take a little pinch, pinch it on the up like that. Feels like it might actually be a little bit wet still but we'll see how it goes. I remember using this stuff in my course fishing days. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to swing it out gently, like that, and see what happens. We're fishing in 16 feet of water, so it's not overly deep, but deep enough for the fish to get in there. It's a bit of a swell today, it's not great, but it could be a hell of a lot worse. And the other rod, as I said, we're going to be fishing worm today. So, on just a little three ounce flatty now, I don't know about you guys but when I'm using worm I like to put them in a little pot like that with a little bit of paper underneath I find rather than closing them up entirely with paper it keeps them alive just a little bit longer so here we go, half a worm. Just silly little looks, eh? <laughs> Looking through the head like that. There we go, Let's see what that brings us. Exactly the same thing, just a little flick out over there. There you go down to the bottom. Uh, we're fishing. Tighten it up a little bit. Right, there we go. Now just sit back and wait to see if the uh, fish decide to bite. So, if I get anything, folks, I'll uh, bring you back and let you know. Alright, see you later. There we go. Something on the uh, worm anyway. Don't feel bad actually. Wee. Oh yes, a nice rass. Nice for this area anyway. Here we go. as you know, spiky little buggers sometimes, but, whee! Come on fella, 
gorgeous little ballam wrasse, look. What a pretty fish. And you know what? These circle hooks, I'm so impressed with them. Look at the way that's hooked in right in the corner of the mouth. These things normally swallow right down. They don't hang around, these. So, get him on up, get him back. Where's the... Uh, I like the one I can use in these. I know a lot of guys just use pliers, but myself, I prefer them that way. Because all you got to do, look. That ain't going to work with that. Never tried that before with the. Uh, Alan Rass, away you go mate. Good. Now, come on, don't go belly up. You'll recover. So fragile Rass, I tell you. He's away, he's gone. Just needed to recover a bit. It's in a bit of shock. Oh, so, there we go. Blank side. Twenty minutes later. At this point, I decided it was time to go. The wind had got up and the waves were building, the swell was building, the boat wash was coming in, uh, the high tide had come and gone, so it was time to get the anchor up and get gone.
my normal way of um, recovering my anchor is just to let the, let it go from the boat and spin round, pick up the buoy and reel it all in from there. Well, that was short and sweet. Um, it was out for about an hour and a half, all told, and the swell just kept building as the wind picked up a bit. The boats had started to move about, so there was wash coming in as well, which is upsetting the kayak. It all got to the point where I couldn't even see the bites. Um, at least I got one ras and it was a shame that there weren't any bream about and I'm not entirely sure about that paste I think I'm gonna to have to work on the recipe a bit um, but we'll see how it goes in the meantime I'm now back in port and uh, chilling and relaxing time to do some editing all right folks well if you like it you know what to do and uh, I hope to see you all again soon. Cheers, take care and bye bye. Tight lines wherever you are.